In this video, we're looking at construction 20, which is asking us to draw a parallelogram when we're given the length of the sides and the measure of the angles. So it all depends on the exam question you're working on. In this video, I'm going to assume that the sides have a length of five centimeters and three centimeters and an angle of 60 degrees. So that's what I'm working to here. It doesn't matter on the particular question you're looking at, the, the steps are going to be the same. So first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw the baseline of my parallelogram. So in order to do that, I'm going to use my compass because like all constructions, we need to show our rough work. So I can't just use a ruler and measure a length of five centimeters. So I'm taking out my ruler first of all and my compass and I'm sitting my compass at zero. So the nib of my compass to zero and I'm going to draw a or sorry, I'm going to measure a length of five centimeters. So moving the nib to my zero and then the pencil tip to five. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put away my ruler now and I'm going to measure an arc. So I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to put a dot on my page and just measure an arc like that. Now I'm going to take back out my ruler and connect that dot to the arc. Now it doesn't matter which part of the arc because it'll always be the five centimeters in length and you can check it yourself. Just move the zero uh, to the dot and you should see that it's still five centimeters in length. But like I said at the start, we need to show um, that arc as our rough work. So connecting the two with my pencil. And that's the base of my parallelogram which is going to be five centimeters. So I'm just gonna mark that in. So I'm gonna mark in my five there to represent the length of that line. I'm gonna mark this first point here on my line segment and I'm gonna label it A. Where my line meets the arc, I'm going to label as B because that's the other part or the other end of my parallelogram. And I'm gonna put a dot here where that arc intersects that line segment. Okay, so there's one side of our rectangle, three more to go. Next thing I'm going to do is find the size of the angles. So like we said, in this example, we're working to 60 degrees. So I'm gonna use my protractor to measure the 60 degrees. So I'm moving over my protractor now and I'm going to put it at the point A and just make sure that the cross is lining up with the point. Uh, that looks about right there and just make sure that all of the lines are parallel. And I'm marking now on the edge of my protractor where it is 60 degrees. So I'm putting my point uh, at 60, which is the acute angle and its corresponding obtuse angle is 120. I'm putting away my protractor now and I'm going to basically draw a line from A through this green dot. Now again, this line is going to be three centimeters, but I'm not worried about the length of it just yet. I'm just going to create the side of my parallelogram. So I'm taking back out my ruler and I'm creating that line segment. So it's going through A and the point that is colored in green. So when I slide over my ruler, uh, I can start at A or I can go through A. It's up to you as long as we create our rectangle. I'm just gonna go through it just to show my rough work here and through my green point. So there's, one of the sides of my parallelogram. Now what I'm going to do is, while I'm doing my angles, I'm gonna come over here now and create this 60 degree angle. Now you can use your ruler and your set square if you want, but what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna bother with set squares in this question, just to be safe. I'm gonna take back out my protractor and move it along to the point B. Okay, so again, just make sure that it's tying up with that little cross on your protractor and I'm gonna mark in again the angle of 60 degrees. And my 60 is here, so I'm putting a dot there. And same principles again, I'm taking out my ruler and I'm going to draw a line between B and that green dot, just like I did over here. So you should see that these lines are parallel to each other because it's a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. Going through B and my green dot, that looks about right. And with my pencil, once again, I can start at B or go through B, it's up to you. And I'm going through the green dot. So I'm putting away my ruler. Next thing I want to do now is, 
See these two green dots? We know that the distance between them now must be five centimeters. So I've created both sides of my parallelogram, but we need to now focus on the length of three centimeters. So this line here, the sides of my parallelograms, I don't know their length just yet. So what I'm going to do is, again, I can't use my ruler and use my three centimeters. I have to basically use my ruler and my compass to measure that three centimeters. So I'm gonna take out my ruler now, and on it, I'm going to use my compass and I'm gonna measure five centimeters. Now, I could have just used this length here. Remember that this length was five centimeters, but I just wanna be sure, I wanna double check. So I'm gonna bring up the nib to zero and it is measuring five, so I'm just double checking that. I need to bring it in now to three centimeters. And there's my three centimeters because in this example, I'm working to a side of three. I'm going to remove my ruler now and I'm going to move my compass down to the point A. And on that side, I'm going to mark in the arc. So holding my compass from the top, I'm drawing my arc. And that length now from A to that arc is three centimeters. We're gonna write in that three centimeters. So with my pencil, I'm writing in a length of three. I'm now bringing over my compass to the other side and putting it on the point B and I'm gonna draw my arc again. Again, it's still set to three centimeters. So I'm gonna write in that three centimeters. Now, my final step is to draw a line through where this purple line and the arc intersect across to where this purple line and arc intersect. So I'm taking out my ruler once again and I'm drawing a line between those two. And I'm drawing my line and I'll remove my ruler. Now, that is basically us finished. We have a baseline of five centimeters. We have the top of our parallelogram also equal to five centimeters. So I'm gonna write five up here. And I have my two sides, which are three centimeters. I'm just gonna label the four corners of my parallelogram. So I'm gonna mark in my vertices. So I have A and B done. I'm just gonna mark in my C and D here, and I'm just gonna write in the letters C and D. So A, B, C, and D. And that's our parallelogram. Final thing I'm going to do is write in my angle here, which is 60 degrees, because that's what this particular question wanted us to work to. So I'm writing in my 60 degrees. And that is construction 20. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.